Shalom. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Chakwarash. Double honors to my teachers, the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. And as always, peace and salutations to the for elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And this is from uh, the New York Times. Justice Department closes Emmett Till investigation without charges. Am I surprised? Nah. That's how that nigga E gets down. Now, where everybody knows about this story, you know, this gruesome act, this heinous crime that was committed against this uh, young Jake, you know, back in the you know, 1950s, 1955 to be exact. You know, I've done all type of uh, documentaries and stories on it. You know, it was very gruesome, man. And it, you know, it just uh, showcases the hatred that Esau naturally has for Jake. All right. He's all he spent most of his existence, you know, getting vengeance upon, you know, his brother. All right. That being uh, Jacob. All right. We know that that goes back, you know, deep. You know, going back to the uh, the garden where the Lord said he will put enmity between us. So, you know, I'm not surprised that the just the justice system, you know, strikes again. All right. But, um, you know, it's, it's to be expected because we're in Esau's world. All right. He has it to where, you know, he has a one up in his own kingdom. And you, Jake, you know, there, there's nothing uh, in it for you. All right. This system of white supremacy has never been for your benefit at all. You know, this justice system, you know, you're not going to find that. All right. And, you know, a lot of the times. You know, Esau, he gets away with a lot of his crimes, but every now and then, you know, he'll allow a form of persecution against certain Edomites just to appease or pacify Jake, to keep Jake believing in his uh, wicked, uh, uh, unrighteous judicial system. All right. But we know that the real justice is going to come real soon. Yahweh Shai is who's going to come and implement the true justice. All right, matter of fact. Real quick, it's a lot. Let me go real quick to uh Psalm seventy two. It is a uh, Psalm seventy two and one. It says, "Give the judgments." It's like you give the king thy judgments, O power, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness. And thy poor with judgment. The mountain shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people, he shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. And who is our oppressor? Our number one oppressor is uh, Esau, Edom. All right? So the Lord is going to uh, implement true uh, judgment, which is actually justice. Okay? He's going to establish that in, in the earth. So these devils will never get away with all the things that they've been able to do, you know, against us. Yeah, on a, you know, to be balanced. Yeah, a lot of it, you know, have to do with, you know, us being in disobedience. So the Heavenly Father punished us, you know, by giving us into the hand of the heathen. All right. But now, you know, it's time for his uh, wickedness to be dis uh, disclosed. As right, a matter of fact, let me get... Lamentations. In Lamentations 4 and 21, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. And that's why, you know, all these different things are coming out. Because uh, our, our captivity is, is, is just about up. And we're getting ready to uh, be, you know, delivered all right, out of this prison. It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. And that inquisition is being made. All right. So, you know, getting back to other article. It says the department said it could not corroborate a book's claim that a central witness had recanted her statements about Emmett 
a black teenager killed by two Edomite men in 1955. It says the Justice Department announced on Monday that it had closed an investigation into the abduction and murder of Emmett Till, the African-American teenager whose gruesome killing by two Edomite men more than six decades ago in Mississippi helped begin the civil rights movement. In a news release dated December 6, federal officials said there was not enough evidence to pursue charges in the case, which was reopened after a historian claimed in a book that Carolyn Bryant Donham, the central witness whose account of an encounter with Emmett led to his death, had recanted the most salacious portions of her story that had that he had grabbed her and made sexually subject, suggestive remarks. And the bitch came out after she, you know, came forward. And then all of a sudden, before she dies, she denies it. So now let's, you know, <laughs> let's throw out the statute of limitation. Let's, you know, throw this out because now she recants it. So now we don't have any evidence no more. So we're just going to close out the case and nothing, you know, nobody can be charged, which I'm not sure if those guys are, you know, even alive to be charged, the guys who did it. You know what I mean? But, you know, murder was still committed. All right. You're not you, you're not going to get away with just, you know, murdering, you know, people. All right. It says citing the statute of limitations in Miss Donham denial that she had ever changed her story. The Justice Department said it could not move forward with prosecuting her for perjury during a moment of the trial in which jurors were not were not present. Miss Donham claimed that the teenager had made sexually vulgar comments towards her and physical contact, but in a book published in 2017, The Blood of Emmett Till by Timothy B. Tyson, the author wrote that Ms. Donham had recanted her testimony in a 2008 interview saying that the earlier stories she told were not true. So, you know, I mean, the scriptures say they're, they're, they're estranged from the wound as soon as they be born speaking lies. All right, they, they'll, they'll tell the truth one moment and then they'll tell, it, tell the lie. You know, they just can't just stick to the truth you know because she knows she would have been uh condemned all right and this this society this system of white supremacy has always you know covered the so-called white woman you know so they'll bend the law and twist it for her all right but uh real quick let me get this in uh psalms 109 and uh 14 and it says, let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. And, you know, the heavenly father, he requires that which is past. So, you know, all of the, the heinous crimes and acts against, you know, Jake is remembered. And that's why he left that 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 tab, you know, for his descendants. You devil's got to pay for that. That's why it says in Isaiah 14, prepare slaughter for his children, all right, for the iniquity of their fathers, man. All right, you got to deal with that. All right, you got these uh, Edomite Christians trying to, you know, set Jake in a chair and wash their feet and, 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 and trying to, you know, seek to please them, like the scriptures say. They shall seek to, uh, to please the poor. No, nah, man. They, they left you a payment. That payment got to be paid, man. You're not going away scot-free. All right, because hey, like it says in uh, Zechariah, whose possessors slayed them and hold themselves not guilty. You know, they never hold themselves guilty, man. And that shows that, you know, Esau doesn't believe that, you know, we're human. You know, we're still at the end of the day, according to the Constitution, we're three-fifths of a man. So we're inhumane. So that's how they treat us. They believe that we don't deserve justice of, 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 of a human, you know? So that's how they always dealt with this. So let me go from there and let me get a Nahum. Because even though you might acquit yourself, the Most High is not going to acquit you. Nahum 1.3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. When you look up that word acquit, hold up, yeah, here we go. The word uh, for for acquit is a uh, naqua, and it says 
to be empty, be clear, be pure, be free, be innocent. Now, you devils are not innocent, man. All right. You got to take on the iniquity of, of your fathers, just like we took on the iniquity of our fathers. Us taking on the iniquity of our fathers is what got us in, in, into this position where we had to serve up under you, you know, under uh, cruelty, you know, hostility, cruelty, hatred. You know, inhumane, you know, conditions, man. It says, uh, be desolate, be cut off, to be empty, be clean, pure, uh, to be cleaned out, be purged out, to be clean, be free from guilt, right? Be innocent. You're not innocent. Be, to be free, be exempt from punishment. To be free, be exempt from obligation, to hold innocent, acquit, to leave unpunished. And speaking of that, let me get uh, Jeremiah. You're not going to go unpunished. Jeremiah 49 and 10, it says, but I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive and let, let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. All right, and you're going to drink every drag of it. You're going to uh, suffer like we had to suffer, man. All right, it says, uh, in, let, me, let me get, uh, was that Psalms uh, 137? Yeah, Psalms 137 and 7 and 8 says, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward of us, like that reward of thee as thou hast served us. So you're going to be rewarded, you know, with the same, you know, sentence that we had to serve. All right. So we're going to do unto you as you've done unto us. All right. Because of thy violence against thy brother, Jacob, shame shall cover thee. All right. Because right now in your power, you know, you, uh, you know, you, you, you don't implement the law. You don't implement the laws. You're not about righteousness. You know, let me get a uh, Habakkuk one and four. That's why these devils are able to get away with shit. Habakkuk 1 and 4 says, Therefore the law is slack, and judgment doeth never go forth, meaning justice never go forth. For the wicked doeth come past the, about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. Because this devil can never do uh, right. You know, let favor be shown unto the wicked, yet in the land of uprightness he will not uh, learn righteousness. You know, it's not in him to do so. So ultimately, the Lord is going to do the judging. Now, he committed all judgment unto the Son. So Yahweh Shai is going to come back and he's going to grant justice for us, man. You see? So this devil, he might be able to get away with it now, but ultimately he ain't. All right? You're you going you gonna to pay dearly, man. That, that, great awake, that, that great reckoning is coming. So, you know, I'm going to stop it right there, man. I just want to uh, go into that, you know, because when I, I saw this, uh, you know, the article, you know, I, all I had to, all, all I could do really is smirk, man, because, you know, this is, this is what you, this is what to expect from this devil, man. All right. And what was, was also sad, you know, I learned that uh, his father also was lynched too. His father served in World War II. And he was accused of uh, raping a woman and they lynched him. So <laughs> they had it out for that, that, you know, family line, man. Uh, so who knows, man? The Mosai was probably fed up with, with them for whatever reason. But it still goes to show you how, you know, heartless Esau is, man. So anyway, I'm going to end off with that. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Shai.
Until the next lesson, Shalom.